11 Alive News at 5 p.m. starts now. Hurricane Ian making landfall less than two hours ago as a powerful Category 4 storm in southwestern Florida. The rough winds ripping through the state, pounding everything in its path. This is wild and crazy right now. Just didn't expect it to be this bad here. But the historic storm is not done yet. It may appear to be calm at some point. In the backside of that will get very, very nasty. And Florida is not the only state in Ian's path. Georgia is also bracing for what's to come, hoping for the best. We are prepared, we're ready, we're continuing to watch. There's no need for panic in the state of Georgia. First at five, a live look in Naples, Florida, courtesy of EarthCam. You can see the water is very close to that pier there, and there's a lot of waves. Hurricane Ian making landfall as a Category 4 hurricane just after 3 o'clock along the southwestern coast of Florida near Cayo Costa. Let's get you straight over to our chief meteorologist, Chris Holcomb, with the latest on Ian's path. So, Chris, where is the storm right now? Well, we're going to be tracking it as it's moving inland now, and it's going to cross over the peninsula of Florida. And even though it is inland, it is still a strong storm, and it's going to be impacting a lot of people. It impacts more than just where it makes that landfall. Now you see the center of the storm uh, that has already crossed over those barrier islands and is over Fort Myers right now, pretty much the eye of the storm there. This is between Port Charlotte and also Bonita Springs. It will keep crossing over the Florida Peninsula, and as it does, what happens is the warm Warm water is the fuel for these storms, and that fuel is cut off now that it's over land, so the storm is going to weaken, but still giving them a lot of rain and wind over central Florida. We even have a tornado watch in effect on the east coast there with some of these bands that will be coming around that have the potential for tornadoes. So here's the latest after making landfall with max winds at 150 miles an hour. It's now down to 140 mile an hour wind. Still category four though, crossing over the peninsula, becoming a tropical storm, and then it actually moves back out over the Atlantic. And as it does, it may pick up a little more strength once again, and then move inland again, right there on the Georgia South Carolina line as a tropical storm. And that would be mainly during the afternoon hours here on Friday. So. The Georgia coast is going to be under the gun next as we see a tropical storm warning and a hurricane watch in effect for our coast and then it moves up into South Carolina. This track keeps moving a little bit more to the east and as it does, we still expect some impacts here, but as it moves more to the east, our impacts will be a little bit lower. We're still expecting the potential for some rain and some breezy conditions for Friday and also into Saturday. But here you see those uh, watches and warnings here, tropical storm warning along the Georgia coast as well as a hurricane watch. We also have storm surge warnings in effect on the Georgia coast too. We'll talk more about that time out when we would see our better chances for rain and some of those stronger winds coming up in just a little bit. All right, Chris, thank you so much. Well,